Now that we have generated our access token, let's move to the collection and start with the first request, which is request to pay. And this is what it says. This operation is used to request a payment from a consumer, that is the payer. The payer will be asked to authorize the payment. The transaction will be executed once the payer has authorized the payment. Now, the request to pay will be in status pending until the transaction is authorized or declined by the payer or it is timed out by the system. Now, status of the transaction will be validated by using the get request to pay and then the resource ID. So, let's try this. So, first of all, this will be the request URL. Okay. Request the URL, let I new tab. I'll put this tab here and then we quickly check this user authorization callback reference ID. We'll come back to the authorization shortly. Let me go to the headers and then paste this one here. And the reference ID, let's quickly go for um, our reference ID. But I think this one we need to generate a new reference ID. We'll look about that. We'll, we'll look at that shortly. And then the next one is um, target environment. Okay. And then remember that when we created the user, this is the target environment that we had, the sandbox. So I'm going to paste it here quickly. And also the content type, which is going to application JSON. Okay. We'll do that shortly. And then the subscription key. I'll go back to the subscription key and then go for it because somewhere here subscription key good subscription key is here so I'll just paste it and um x reference id i think i have already added it yes x reference id and then we need to add our authorization okay there is a way you can add authorization in the collection but i think for this one we have to actually add it to this header but whatever it is we'll try the first one and see what is going to happen so for the authorization when you come to the collection and then this is the collection that we have you go to edit you have to first copy the token okay so I'll copy the token and then go to our collection here edit and then I'll go to authorization select bearer token and then paste the token here so I've pasted it and then I'll click on update and this request back to it. What do we have to add that we haven't? Um, request to pay. We need to add authorization header. So we'll go to authorization. Let me say inherit from parent. Okay, so this is going to inherit the one that we just updated in this collection. So that is what it means. But before it can be used, we need to save this so that it can recognize this part of that collection. So let's fill um, the body because the body has to take these parameters. Oh, this is the payload. So raw, then this is going to be JSON. Select a JSON. Now paste. Now the amount is going to be the amount that we are going to request for the payer to pay and at the currency remember I told you that they use ISO for most of their enumerable so I'll paste this URL here okay and for some reason I don't know whether it's because of the sandbox but any currency I tried yet couldn't work for me until I use the euro if you check the euro is already here um, euro which is over here so I'm going to use that one euro and then the external id this is anything that we can use to reference whatever transaction that we made just like on your mobile phone you enter your reference id so i just enter anything here and then the party id type okay now this is also another enumerable when you go to the schema go to the schema of the request to pay the body here it tells you that the, the pay is an object made up of this uh, properties party ID type which is an enum and the first one is your mobile number that is what it stands for and then the second one is email and the third one is party code and then you have party ID which is a string so depending on which option you provide here then you go with the ID 
So here we're going, we're maintaining this one because we're going to provide a number. So 0, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm just entering any number. And then the payout message. Um, pay for product A. And then the payout note. I'll say, okay, pay a note. Any note that you want to leave in there. And let me go back to the header. Let me check everything is... Um, everything that is required we have provided okay so i think it's level there x ref okay x reference id is there and then when it goes through and it is accepted you're supposed to get 202 accepted okay so now we need to save this this request to make it part of the collection so that when we say inherit from parent it can be used so this one is request to pay so i'll do this one request to pay request to pay I, I won't type any okay let me go for the documentation and then just um copy this one and paste it over there you can read it from there i think that is okay so save and then now we can test because we are using authorization from the container so send which is post resource not found resource not found why are we having this problem resource not found so header content type and all of this okay resource not found subscription is here content type oh uh we need to make it post remember this is post this is post request and then here was get so I'll set up the post request and then send it again. And there's duplicate, duplicated ID reference. So I think for here, the X reference ID is uh, another um, X, another usual ID that we need to put there so that it can be used as a reference for this request to pay transaction that we are making. So it is not going to be the one that you use to create the user, but it is good. This one is for the request that you are making. So let's quickly get a new one. I'll click on this one. I have a new one. I can, I can copy it and then go back to and then paste it here. Okay, and then make the request. And now we have 202. Whoa, accepted. Now let's intentionally click on the send again with the same reference and see what we get if what I said is true now we get duplicated id reference so anytime you are making a request you need to generate new usual id one two three i copy it and then you come in and then you paste it in here okay so in your application integration you need to generate it and then add it to the header parameter before you make this kind of post so that it can be accepted okay so i think i need to organize this uh apis so that when we move on to a, a different product we can do for that so i'm going to create a folder add folder and call it uh, sandbox sandbox user and i could okay I, I, I let me just create it like that and this one is the first one is going to be the create api user i'll put it in there and get created user i'll put it in the sandbox and generating api token i'll put it in the sandbox and um getting uid i'll leave it here and then getting api key i'll put it here so when i spend the sandbox okay generating the token too is in the sandbox so that's okay and then what we are doing right now will be for so oh, okay so add folder and the folder name is going to be collection product so this is collection product I'll save it and i'll put the first one we did the request the request to pay in it okay so the request to pay is inside the collection product and yes that's what we did so let's move on to the next one